Well, Darwin's uh, an absolutely unique place in Australia. It's, it's absolutely uh, fantastic. It's a small city, but it has all the amenities of a big city. So you get all the advantages, all the amenities, uh, but not the busy, busy lots of people. Um, it's also a great destination because there are so many jobs there. We are very short of people in Darwin, so our students always find it easy to find work. Uh, and also we have four years post-study rights, so students can stay on in Darwin for four years after they've studied and work. And a lot of our students get absolutely fantastic jobs with the government, with the big accounting agencies, or even uh, with our university. And also we have an absolutely world-class university, Charles Darwin University, right in the centre of Darwin. Okay. Telecasting global opportunities. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Absar program. This program is all about education, educational news, views and your career. Specifically, we are continuously providing you the information about your career, education and different destinations. Talking about Australia, really awesome. Nepali are doing very well there and we are time and again visiting there and give you the real ground situation of study in Australia program. So, uh, talking about study in Australia, Darwin. We have a really good community, like more than 3,000 Nepali communities are there and they are doing very well there. And the one and only university, Charles Darwin University. Today we have very special guest from the university side who is none other than Vice Chancellor of Charles Darwin University, uh, Professor Scott Bowman. Let's welcome him to the show. Scott, you are welcome on our show. Thank you very much. It's great to be talking to you in this beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are quite happy to having you uh, in this platform so that we'll be able to clear the opportunities of Darwin and South Darwin University. First of all, would you please tell us something about your visit in Nepal for this time? Yeah, well, we're visiting uh, Nepal to talk to students that are thinking of coming to Australia and who are thinking to come to the Northern Territory and Darwin. Uh, we're meeting with some of the agents and we're also meeting with some potential partners here who we want to work with going into the future. Okay, especially talking about the Darwin, uh, especially why international students could have to Darwin for their higher education? Well, Darwin's uh, an absolutely unique place in Australia. It's, it's absolutely uh, fantastic. It's a small city, but it has all the amenities of a big city. So you get all the advantages, all the amenities, uh, but not the busy, busy lots of people. Um, it's also a great destination because there are so many jobs there. We are very short of people in Darwin, so our students always find it easy to find work. Uh, and also we have four years post-study rights, so students can stay on in Darwin for four years after they've studied and work. And a lot of our students get absolutely fantastic jobs with the government, with the big accounting agencies, or even uh, with our university. And also we have an absolutely world-class university, Charles Darwin University, right in the centre of Darwin. Okay, we have talked about the destination and let's talk about the university as well. How do you assure that Charles Darwin University is providing globally standard education? All of our programs are accredited. So, for example, our uh, engineering program is accredited uh, by Engineers Australia. That's part of the Washington Accord. So if you study engineering with us, then you are qualified to work in the US, the UK, Europe, or hopefully back in Nepal. Uh, but all of our courses are monitored and accredited uh, by national agencies. So you can rest assured the quality at the university is very good. And we are globally ranked very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have a talk about your future plan. Is there any recent statistical plan to explore Charles Darwin University? Yeah, look, we have, we've got big plans uh, for the university. At the moment, we are building a new campus right in the heart of uh, Darwin. 
So this is a campus uh, which is costing us $250 million. It's a big campus. It will change really the whole of the city. And this is a campus that we will welcome both Australian uh, and overseas students in. That's one of our big projects. But we're also looking to extend our Sydney campus. So we operate in Darwin and Alice Springs, and we're also expanding in Sydney. We're also expanding the number of courses and programs we offer. So it's a university where we've got lots going on. Let's flash back the COVID situation once, especially at that period, really terrible, and students are scared what is happening, and even university also. So in this case, how Charles Darwin University coping student at that period? Okay, it's, it's really interesting. So uh, we really kept in contact with our students. Uh, we actually fed a lot of our students, so we literally produced thousands of meals uh, for our students who are having problems uh, getting out and uh, finding food, so that was good. We looked after those students. Uh, our counselling service rang them up and checked that they were doing okay emotionally uh, and psychologically. But a really interesting thing is that our international students also did a lot. So our international students formed a group called the Kindness Shake and they actually went out and fed a lot of people in Darwin who were struggling. So we looked after the international students, but our international students actually helped to look after Australian people. Uh, and that's been wonderful. The Kindness Shake is, has grown and is now funded by the Northern Territory Government. Okay, let's have a talk about the university's infrastructure and facilities. Especially during our journey program, we are visiting in different study destinations and talking with international men. Often they are sharing about their like facility, international student caring unit and so on things. In this case, how you uh, like um, uh, verified that South Darwin University is providing intensive service for international students? Yeah, look, we are really looking forward to welcoming you to Darwin. We're looking forward to showing you around the university. And we will show you the full range of services that we offer to our students. So the first level of that is academic support. So we give our students a lot of support to be able to do their assessments. We give them some support with English language. We do a lot of work in our libraries to help students uh, to prepare them for their study. So academically, we have those support units in place. And then we have all the personal support as well. So the personal support includes counselling services, it includes putting groups together, and we have a very active ne uh, Nepalese student society, so students help each other. And then in our halls of residences, residences where our students live, uh, we also have a lot of support for students there. So we have a full range of support for international students. We feel our international students are incredibly brave to come to our country and study in a language which isn't their first language and we know we have a massive responsibility to look after those students uh, and we do. Okay, so talking about the uh, Nepali students in different uh, like community, they are doing very well. Uh, the deserving students are climbing more and more scholarship as well. In this case, how Charles Darwin University is offering scholarship for international students, those who are deserving. Yeah, well, we have just decided on a new scholarship. So the world has just come through a very difficult period. Uh, we know that Nepal has suffered like every other country uh, with the pandemic, along with Australia. Uh, and we were thinking, how could we help students out? How, how could we get things going again? So we're now offering the Charles Darwin University Merit Scholarship. And this scholarship is for all students. Mm -hmm. If a student can uh, meet the standards, the English language standards and the academic standards to get into the university, then they all get a scholarship of 30% for the duration of the course. So you get 30% off the course fees in the first year, and if you're doing a master's the second year, or if you're doing a bachelor's degree, even for the three or four years. We think this is going to make life a lot easier for our students. And also we have the Vice Chancellor's uh, uh, Scholarship, which is for very bright students that are at the top of the tree. That can be up to 50%. 
but really everybody, every student that applies to us can come in, will get the Merit Scholarship. Okay, so especially talking about the uh, like uh, teaching pedagogy and delivering the global standard education, it's really challenge. And to uh, give the sustainable mileage on this sector, what sort of the collaboration are there with different institutions and other educational academia as well? Yeah, look, this is really important. So we do have relationships with other universities. So we are situated in the north of Australia, so we have a relationship with the other universities, James Cook University and Central Queensland University that are based in the north and we do a lot of work together. We also have very strong links uh, with international universities and we are developing them and we are talking to universities within Nepal who we want to form relationships with. But we also form partnership with NGOs uh, to look at ways that the university can give back to communities. So those partnerships are very important to us and we really want to get our students involved in those partnerships as well. Okay, so we are at the end of the session, so what is your final message to the prospective students and parents, those who are trying to know something about Darwin and Charles Darwin University? I'd say find out about Darwin, it is a great place to come and live and study. We have students who have been incredibly successful. They graduate, they tend to get jobs, they're working in government, banks, uh, in the big accounting companies. We've got a very active uh, Nepalese community in Darwin. It's just a great place to be and a great place to study and uh, we would love to welcome them uh, to Charles Darwin University and to Darwin. Okay, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Look, thank you very much. It's always lovely to come to Nepal. I've been here many times and will come here many times again. It's one of the greatest countries in the world. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me. Thank you so much. Our sir, telecasting global opportunity.